Nobody have it harder in the industry and in every genre harder than a female rapper. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because you have to have the best verses. You gotta have the best verses. And not only that, you gotta kill the charts. And then on top of that, your personal life gotta be perfect. Or then the odd bitches is gonna use that against you. <laughs> oh, your husband, your husband, shut up. <laughs> I make more money than all the niggas fucking. Hey folks, Hollywood's going bonkers. Just when we thought Offset's cheating scandal was peak drama, Cardi B drops a bombshell. She's accusing him and Quavo of hooking up with the same woman at the same time. But hold up, there's more. Cardi spilled that the Migos split happened because of Saweetie. Apparently, Offset and Quavo both had a thing with Saweetie, causing a huge rift. Get ready for some serious fireworks because Cardi is gearing up to give Offset a taste of his own medicine. It's about to get messy, and no pun intended. So, turns out Cardi B isn't as laid back as we thought. When news broke that Offset got another woman pregnant, and rumors hinted Cardi might be pregnant too, things went off the rails. At first she seemed cool about it, but it's clear forgiving cheating is one thing. Having another baby on the side is a whole different ball game for Cardi. Rumors suggest Pre might still be pregnant with Offset's child which is why Cardi flipped out. Initially, she told everyone to mind their own business and flaunted her wealth, but that changed fast. When Cardi found out Pre might still be expecting and that Offset's family was allegedly helping him cover it up, she went off. She publicly confronted Offset's mom when she tried to show love to culture, and who can blame her for being furious? It's not just Offset's mom. Cardi's clashed with his dad and sister too, when Offset cheated after Culture was born, his dad defended him on Facebook and criticized Cardi for not being more understanding. My son is not innocent as he has done his share of dirt, but the whole scenario is a never-ending drama session. It's tick for act mudslinging situation, fueled by jealousy, envy insecurities, psychological issues, etc. Like most young adults, he doesn't always do what he's advised to do. But we are talking about a 25-year-old with an unlimited supply of money, women chasing him, people at his disposal, etc. Couple that with a hot-headed female that thrives off of social media attention and is on the same financial level as above him, and it's a recipe for disaster. But it goes deeper than that. Offset's sister, Hefe, also shaded her by retweeting a post that said, Women really be wanting you to be rich and not cheat just irrational LMAO. And to that she said, they really are just a man. This family is a complete disaster, and insiders claim they're backing Offset because he's bankrolling their lifestyle. Cardi tolerated the disrespect for a bit, but when she discovered they were covering up his side chick's pregnancy, she felt totally betrayed. Now, she's airing out all his dirty laundry and is ready to take things to the next level if he pushes her. Nikki or Cardi B? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not me, y'all. <laughs> this is mad. I'm, I'm taking a shot with these sinister <laughs> legends and shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm. <laughs> I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say Nikki. Yeah, see, I was gonna say the same thing, though. That's crazy. So you said Nikki? Yeah. So being that y'all agree, that's a shot. They gotta take a shot. <laughs> Cardi allegedly leaked a spicy tape involving Offset and his Migos buddy, Quavo. According to her, Offset and Quavo used to have threesomes with women, including Pri. But before you get too shocked, let me set the record straight. Offset and Quavo have always claimed to be cousins, but they're not blood related. It's one of those grew up in the hood together and called each other cousins deals. Last year, Offset cleared the air that Quavo and Takeoff aren't his blood relatives. He went to school with Quavo and started hanging out with him and Takeoff in sixth grade. While Quavo is technically Takeoff's uncle, they're only three years apart in age. So, while it was weird they both hooked up with the same woman, it wasn't technically incest. When Offset faced backlash for Pri's pregnancy, a video of Quavo and Pri also leaked. This messy situation apparently goes even deeper and might be what caused the Migos to split. 
For a while, everyone thought it was Offset versus Quavo in Takeoff. But the real tension was between Offset and Quavo, leaving Takeoff caught in the middle. Offset and Cardi unfollowed Quavo on social media after the fallout, and Quavo returned the favor. However, Takeoff still followed Offset and Cardi, showing he stayed neutral. Previous interviews with Quavo and Takeoff confirmed that the real beef was between Quavo and Offset. Takeoff didn't take sides in the drama. We just stand on loyalty, you know what I mean? We stand on real deal, real deal loyalty. And you know, sometimes that shit ain't displayed. And this ain't got nothing to do with no label, no paperwork, no QC, no nothing. Just got something to do with the three brothers and shit, that is what it is. Right now we gonna be the duo till time tell. Let's gotta respect that. Well, obviously, Takeoff had Quavo's back since their family, but it seemed like he wasn't really getting into the drama. Initially, people thought the group split because Offset wanted to leave quality control or over money, but Quavo set the record straight. It was about loyalty. According to insiders, Offset allegedly had something going on with Saweetie behind Quavo's back, without his knowledge or consent. The rumors about Offset and Saweetie started when Quavo was in a spat with blogger Sleaze Mirage. Mirage dropped a bombshell about Offset and Saweetie, claiming they were involved romantically. It caused a stir online, especially since Offset has a history of cheating on Cardi multiple times, so it didn't come as a total shock. Cardi shut down the rumors saying, Nope, you're lying. Making up wild stories and dragging other female rappers into it without any proof. No one talked about it openly, but shortly after, Offset announced his departure from Migos. He claimed it was due to disagreements with the label, but many doubted that story. Speculation swirled that the real reason was a fallout with the rest of Migos over his involvement with Quavo's ex, Saweetie. Then there was the music video. Suddenly, Saweetie was cut from the song without explanation. It was odd because she had been confirmed and even recorded her verse. What made it stranger was that she was the only one dropped, and there didn't seem to be any bad blood between her and Gorilla. As everyone scratched their heads, trying to figure out what was happening, Gorilla announced that Cardi B would be on the song the next day. Suddenly, it clicked why Saweetie was removed from the FNF remix. The timing raised eyebrows. Right after Saweetie was dropped, Cardi hopped on a song with Gorilla. Fans quickly connected the dots. But Cardi didn't hold back on Twitter, throwing shade and accusing Offset and Quavo of messing around, saying, they be going for anything, but I can't go for none of that. Quavo caught the subtweet, and when he and Takeoff appeared on Drink Champs, they sided with Nicki Minaj over Cardi B, as you've seen a bit earlier. First off, N.O.R.E. knew he was stirring up trouble with that question, especially with the history between Nicki and Cardi. Takeoff clearly wasn't keen on answering and seemed hesitant, but Quavo didn't hesitate to dive in. Plus, Quavo and Cardi weren't exactly on good terms back then, so he wasn't about to pick Cardi. Even if he actually prefers Cardi, he would have still chosen Nicki just to be petty. That was the only way it could have gone down. I'm not blaming Drink Champs for being messy. That's their vibe, and Nori's known for it. They drink, they chat, and things often get wild, but in an entertaining way, you know? Also, it's interesting how Quavo's all buddy-buddy with Nicki Minaj, picking her over Cardi, despite their rocky history. Nicki and the Migos haven't been tight since their collab on Motorsport stirred up drama between her and Cardi. It also strained her relationship with the Migos, because she felt they let the media trash her without defending her. They stood by while she took heat without saying a word, and she hasn't been cool with them since. Just a while back, Quavo dissed Nicki in his track Huncho Dreams, spilling about their personal dealings and hinting she caught feelings for him. Naturally, Nicki wasn't pleased, and their feud blew up. So, I reckon Quavo was just trying to rile up Cardi with his pick, given their ongoing situation. And looks like he succeeded, because Cardi fired back on her Instagram story. Stand on it. But Quavo wasn't the only one throwing shade at Cardi. Saweetie, her alleged threesome partner, also took some shots. For instance, when Getty Images photos of Cardi at the Vanity Fair Oscars party went viral, 
Many people criticized how she looked in the pictures. They were saying she didn't look like her Instagram photos and accused her of photoshopping. Things got even more heated when Nicki Minaj tweeted, clock that T during the backlash Cardi was facing, which many interpreted as shade towards Cardi. But Saweetie didn't hold back either. She threw a forest's worth of shade at Cardi. Saweetie posted those Getty images with a caption that said, she don't need no edits. Talk about dragging Cardi through the mud. Saweetie definitely knew what she was doing when she posted those pictures while Cardi was catching heat, adding that caption about edits and Photoshop. Yeah, Saweetie knew exactly how to stir the pot with that move. Remember how we mentioned earlier that Quavo allegedly got upset because Offset and Saweetie got involved without his permission? Well, turns out he and Offset allegedly used to have threesomes with Saweetie. If you catch my drift, allegedly, the three of them used to get wild with each other when Saweetie and Quavo were together. This explains Quavo's line in the song Messy, where he rapped about his dog betraying him behind his back. When he said, you wanted the gang, you should have said it we would have blessed it. It all makes sense now. For a while, people were wondering what he meant by Saweetie wanting in the gang and how they would have blessed it. But the answers were right there before our eyes all along. According to an insider, when Quavo and Saweetie had their messy breakup, Offset allegedly promised Quavo he would be loyal and stop whatever he had going on with Saweetie. But he didn't keep his word. Instead, he continued being close with her behind Quavo's back. When Quavo found out, he reportedly exposed the whole thing, which is why he and Cardi fell out. She felt betrayed by both him and Saweetie, and rightfully so because the whole situation is messy and disrespectful. So, it's clear this drama isn't settling anytime soon. With Cardi, Saweetie, Quavo, and Offset all in the mix, it's like a never-ending roller coaster of scandals and shade. From threesomes to betrayals, these revelations have rocked their relationships and spilled into the public eye. As fans speculate and social media buzzes with each new twist, one thing's for sure. The fallout from these messy entanglements isn't just gossip. It's rewriting the playbook on Hollywood drama.